Hello GNAC fans, I'm Blake Tim, and welcome to another edition of GNAC Top Plays. We begin this week in Monmouth, where Christopher Edward put on a scoring clinic against Western Oregon. Todd Pickett with the call. The comfortable margin that they built in the opening minutes of the game. Start to Chris Edward. Going to count it? Edward in time. Michaels looking underneath for Edward. Basket and foul. Edward finishes with 33 points, but it wasn't enough as the Wolves collected the 86-72 win. A few nights earlier, West Oregon's women hosting Northwest Nazarene. First quarter, the entry pass to Savannah Hughley, who turned for the hoop and the harm. Second quarter, Kiana Jones starts the break, moves down the floor, and eventually finds Tysha Thomas for the bucket to tie the game. Defense again in the third. This time, Sydney Azor with the steal and the quick two. And then Ali Nelke with the rebound and the lay-in at the horn to send the game to overtime. Nighthawks overcome in the extra period for the 72-67 win. The Cavalier women looking to break their losing streak against Northwest Nazarene. Once again, Todd Pickett. Right on the weak side, second attempt at the lane all Tizo, and she shovels it back to Danielle. Batted away by Parker, recovered and missed. West inside with the offensive. They're trying to find a West. Parker giving up almost a head height to her. Maltizo with five on the shot clock, pulls up off balance three. Good. Maltizo's 20 points was not enough as the Nighthawks inched out the 75-71 victory. To Burnaby Mountain, where Simon Another Fraser pulled off a shocker against He's Seattle Pacific. Howard Samara with the call. West Jim White Oak, we've got a full house here at the West Jim. What a great atmosphere for a college basketball game, and that's Kadar Salam. And we're really trying to build off that. You know, I think when you look at what we want to do moving forward, we're going to be the best we possibly can with the best players. Now Kadar with a chance here on the baseline. He drives and kicks the three ball. Bingo! J.J. Pankratz knocks down the big shot. So Seattle Pacific has made big plays on both ends of the floor. But Muir Kyung, number five, makes one of his own a steal right down the floor. Jordan with the lay it up and in! The plan outscores the Falcons 51-44 in the second half behind 35 points from Kadar Salah. They win 81-80. Further north in Anchorage, Western Washington looking for an upset of its own over the Seawolves. 14 feet this time, and it's Stepanovic. More basketball season to be played here for the Lady Seawolves. Turnaround shot right out of the gate by Stepanovic. It's style and tempo anymore. Right now, the Vikings are taking it to the Seawolves. And Stepanovic is fortunate on the shot. Over to Ware. Ware on the drive behind the back pass. Tried something probably a little too fancy that wasn't needed. Leads to a turnover. The Panovich off the glass and in. Keaton Homer with the call, but an upset was not in the cards as UAA coasted to the 66-59 win. Western we Washington and Seattle Pacific really well putting on a show in Bellingham and on Root Sports. The difference in talent between these two teams with the best you can uh, shoot the ball from the three. Kicked right back to Drexel. Gets a tip-in rebound and flush his second dunk of the game. Thomas, strong drive, finishes at the rim. All the way to the rack, but Thomas picks it to Rojas. Brad Adam with the call as the Falcons score the 92-88 TV win. That's it for GNAC Top Plays. I'm Blake Tim. We'll see you next time.